boys and girls. I'm going to talk to you real quick about something you're going to be getting in the mail in an envelope this size. Now your name's going to be on it with a stamp. This one's just plain. Um, it should be coming in the mail today or tomorrow. And when you open it up, it'll have your name on it. You're going to see the color green. This is called your green packet. Now in your green packet, we're going to open it up. Josh is taping. Josh, come on over. Inside, you're going to have a little piece of paper like this and an envelope like this and a green page and your green page is like this. Put this to the side and we're going to read this first. It says, here are your green getting ready for next year show off pages. Please take some time to watch the how-to video on our YouTube channel. That's this that we're taping right now. Fill out these pages quickly and send me the pictures at this email address. Then mail them back to me in this stamped envelope. These pages will help us get ready to have you back to school after the summer. It will be a wonderful day when we will all get to see each other at school once again very soon. So here's what's going to be in these pages. These pages are going to let us know as teachers and as the school how we can get ready to have you in our classroom next year. And it's going to kind of let us know where each of us is at. So. They're called show-off pages because a lot of the stuff in here you probably know and you can show off how much you know. And if you don't know everything, that's okay. No worries. And no worries to moms and dads either. All right. So this first page here is my awesome math skills. I can name the shapes that I have circled without any help. What you're going to do with a grown-up next to you is you are going to name the shapes. Now, if you know the name of the shape, we're going to put a circle around it. If you do not know the name of a shape, just leave it alone. So, all the shapes that you know and can say out loud correctly, you're going to circle them. Now, some of them are flat shapes and some of them are 3D solid shapes, so don't let them trick you. If you don't know them, all of them, that's okay. If you know one or two, perfect. Next page. This shouldn't take us too long. Next page. It's the same kind of thing. You're going to name the number in these boxes. And circle, circle the numbers that you can name without help. Now that means that parents or grown-ups or, or brothers and sisters cannot give you the answers. We want to know what is inside your own brain. So if you know the name of the number, we're going to put a circle around it. Have a grown-up sit next to you. If you don't know the name of a number or if you've forgotten it, that's okay. Just leave it alone. No worries. Next page, more math skills. I can count by tens to 100 without any help. If you can do that, remember that's 10, 20, and all the way up to 100, you're going to put a check mark there. If you can count by ones to 100 without any help, you're going to also put a check mark here. Let's say that I can only count up to 49 and then I start get, getting jumbly. I'm going to put over here, I'm not going to put my check mark there. I'm going to say I am not at 100 just yet, but I can count to 49 without any help. That means your grown-ups in your family cannot give you the next number. This is just what you know without help. Down here... It says, I can try to write my numbers in order to 20 in these boxes without any help. So you're going to start with the number one over here and go all the way up to 20. If you get jumbly, that's okay. Just do the best you can. 
Next page. Now this one is one that you're going to have to use a timer for. These are some addition and subtraction math problems. We want to see how many you can solve within two minutes. So that means you're gonna have to have um, a grown up get out their phone or their watch and they're gonna time you and see how many you can get done in two minutes. Some of our answers are on one side of our problem and some of our answers are on the other side of the problem, but that's not gonna bother us at all. See how many you can do within two minutes. And then, and if you only get a couple of them done, that's okay. If you get down to here, leave the rest of them blank, okay? Next, we're gonna start working on looking at our reading skills. Hopefully you'll get through this packet pretty quickly, guys. You're going to try to read these real words. Circle if you can read them. Then you're going to try to name a word that rhymes with each of these words and have a grown up write what you say on each line. So we're checking to see here if you can put those sounds in, boys and girls. So we're going to try and put these three sounds together to make a word. And if you read the word correctly, you're gonna circle that word. And then you're gonna try and come up with a word that rhymes with it. And you're gonna write that word right on the lines above and below each of these words. Okay? Next page. Oh, here's our kindergarten words. You're going to go down each of these lists one at a time. Now, if I were you, I would use an elevator to help me. And I might even fold my paper so that there aren't so many, or I might cover up part of my list and just focus on one list at a time. Use an elevator to help you and go down each of these lists and see if you can read those words. If you don't know it, go ahead and say, I don't know. If you do know it and can say it, you can put a circle around it or a check mark next to it. Either one is fine. If you don't know the word, just leave it blank. That's okay. See how many you can do from list one, list two, list three, and list four. Lastly, we're gonna do a little bit of writing here. You need to pick what is your favorite pet, a dog or a cat? And then you're going to fill in these sentences here underneath. My favorite pet is a blank. You're going to write dog or cat on your own without help. That means you're gonna to have to stretch those words on your own. I like blank because, and then you're going to give a reason in a sentence of why that animal is your favorite. And please try and read through it to make sure it makes sense. Don't forget your punctuation. Don't forget the size of your letters. That's why these lines are here and do the best you can, but no help from grownups. All right, and last but not least, you are going to do your best to write your first and last name here on this line. Then you can write a sentence answering this question. What was your favorite part of kindergarten? And write your sentence on this line. Remember, this is without any help. Then you're going to draw a picture of yourself right here. And I want you to spend a few minutes really thinking about what a person looks like. Don't forget things like hair and ears and eyebrows and nose and arms and hands and feet and legs and all of those things. Okay? All right, boys and girls, getting all of these pages completed will really help us to get ready for you next year. I can't wait to see how much you know. You're going to then fold them up. If you can, take a picture of these pages and email them to me awesome. If not, that's okay. But make sure that you fold this up and then you're going to mail it back to me in the envelope that I've given you. Now, 
try and do this quickly and I will be putting it on Facebook and sending emails about it. We're going to try and get this done within the next few days so that we can get um, all of our stuff ready for next year. All right, have fun with these and I can't wait to see them. See you soon, guys.